What's up, everybody? It's me, Thomas PhD, and welcome back to another video. So today, in this video, we're going to be covering the factions slash countries and territories of the Dream SMP. Now, there's going to be a couple of complications while we're going to be talking about factions and, and countries in this video because there's go there is actually a lot of countries and factions in the Dream SMP. In fact, while I was making this video. The entire server is engulfed into another war, a war called the Doomsday War. But that's a story another time because we are currently covering something else right now. So let me show you the map first. Now before we get started talking about the factions slash countries on the Dream SMP, we got a first complicated problem. Now by the time I uploaded this video, you know, there's probably going to be some outdated stuff. Uh, because there are either some nations have been dissolved, have just been formed, or to this day, still, there hasn't been informed of where the exact location their country is. So, in the top right corner of this map, we're gonna add a standard date where this map is dated. Uh, so, we're gonna date it to January 3rd, because this is where most of the nations we do recognize uh, are still here. Now that we set it the date where what we are talking about and hopefully on the same page let's talk about some other important stuff now looking at the bottom left corner we can see some other important stuff that we're going to be using to talk more clearly about some stuff on this map now the first line you see here shown in black is talking about borders this is where we use to mark what land a faction or country owns inside the borders and the next thing down here, shown in red, is talking about disputed borders and other territories. This is mean that a country or a factions or might have been either has disputed land within the borders or or is in other territory that is not independent but it is important. Also, while we have this white arrow pointing at stuff, let's talk about this black arrow. This black arrow means that we are pointing at a country that is or faction that is not on the map. We might not be able to see where the country or faction is on the map, but we do currently know where the location is and what the territory claims. So yeah, we'll be using this black marker as well. Okay, now that we finally have everything important to talk about first out of the way, let's actually start talking about some countries and factions of the Dream SMP. The Manberg also known as the People's Republic of Lamanberg, is a communist country led by President slash Premier Tubbo that has the most members and former members combined on the entire Dream SMP server. Looking at back at the map I made, we can see that Lamanberg is quite big ever since it was independent from the Dream SMP. Within it, there are a couple of countries that are inside its borders and outside of its borders. Also, outside of its main boundaries, it has also a lot of enclaves within other countries. The countries the Manberg is basically bordering are the Dream SMP and Little Penis Land. Which, by the way, it is not recognized as a country, but I guess it's good to know where Penis Land is. While there are only two factions slash countries bordering La Manberg, it has three countries slash factions within its borders. They are Manifold Land, which is a territory led by Jack Manifold, who claims to be governor slash landlord of this territory ever since it was created before the Poctopia vs. Manberg War, which was soon annexed into La Manberg after the war. Boomerville, which is a village or sanctuary created by Laserbeam and Vicstar to not only to put their house there, but also as a sanctuary from the Manberg <coughs> Zoomers, and it was built on the new district of the slums of the Manberg. And finally, there is our rabbit, formerly named as Mexican La Manberg, which is an independent country created by Quaggity, George Northfound, and Satnam, looking over the Manberg. However, due to the fact that our rapids is recognized as an independent country and also part of the Manberg, after the day it was created, it is unclear if our rapids is part of the Manberg or is independent. But what we do know, Quackity tells Tupper after it was annexed into the Manberg that 
a rabbit is a separate entity and acts on its own. So I guess it's act as its own territory, really like Boomerville, but it is still unclear here as its political situation is complicated. Now that we have covered the Manberg and the countries slash factions within it and bordering it, we have to finally cover the last thing of the Manberg, its enclaves, and they are scattered all over the entire Dream SMP. The first of these Lamanberg exclaves is this one right here, and it pretty much includes the Lamanberg Embassy, or Tommy and its Enterprise, and also Ninja's house. The next of these Lamanberg exclaves is inside the SMP Museum, and probably also the smallest enclave of Lamanberg, which pretty much includes the artifacts that are originally part of Lamanberg and are either rebuilt or placed inside the museum, which Lamanberg claims they own. The next Lamanberg exclave, which is in the far west, is Rosenbergville, which is a originally an independent country created by Carl Jacobs and Satnap, and was named after Carl's cat, Gutenberg, before incorporated into Lamanberg before the October versus Manberg War, then reincorporated this time Lamanberg after the war. And later Carl Jacobs became governor of Rutenbergville and Satnap residents of Lamanberg. The last Lamanberg exclave, and probably the only exclave in the entire Dream SMP that is underground, is Poctopia, which is an underground former Lamanberg commune created by Wubusu, Tommy in it, and Technobay when he is whitelisted, and lived throughout the Manberg Rebellion arc until the Poctopia vs. Manberg War, when which, after the Poctopians won, they incorporated Poctopia into Lamanberg. Now that we finally covered everything about the Manberg, its exclaves, and the countries that are inside and outside of its borders, we could finally continue on to other countries and factions of the Dream SMP. Now let's get back to Little Penis Land first because we haven't talked about it a lot while talking about the Manberg. So Little Penis Land is a small faction created by Connor Eats Pants after he was kicked out of Tommy's house when he claimed the land below the sign Little Penis as his own and soon created Little Penis Land uh, as a faction, but it is not recognized as an independent country. And yet, yeah, let's move on to the next faction. The Badlands, also known as the Fascist, not really Fascist, Union of the Badlands, is an independent recognized country created by Babel Halo, Anthros, and Osamdu to stoke the flames of conflict and wars between all factions and to rule the entire Dream SMP. Looking at back at the map, we can see that the Badlands owns a lot of land in the Dream SMP. On the right, you can see some territory marked as borders that belongs to the Badlands, but it's not all the land the Badlands claims they own because it only includes Skeppy and Bad Boy Halo's mansion and the area where the Pandora Vault is located. Meanwhile, on the left side of the map, you can see a large area of the map is colored in black but not marked as borders using lines and it says the Badlands. And that's because when the Badlands gained recognition and independence, in the document that declares it, they claim that the king of the SMP, aka at the time, Ered, will grant the Badlands all land south of the castle and north of Skeppy and Babel Halo's mansion upon at present day. What that means is that all lands south of Ered's castle and all lands north of Skeppy and Babel Halo's mansion will all be part of the Badlands. However, Dream, the leader of the Greater Dream SMP, said that the land the Badlands claimed their own set in the document doesn't mean anything besides gaining recognition. And that's why I only marked the mansion and the prison as part of the Badlands. However, again, if the territories the Badlands claimed they own are recognized, they would be in dispute with another faction in territorial borders besides the Greater Dream SMP, and that would be the Arctic Anarchist Commune. The Arctic Anarchist Commune, or simply known as the Anarchist, is a faction created and led by Technoblade in the Arctic North in the Dream SMP server to destroy anyone who dares to form a government. Although we can't see the territories the Anarchists own, we do have a basic idea of what it includes. They are Technoblade's cabin, his second vault, Mount Beacon, the various farms Techno and Filza build when they are together, 
and also Tommy and Ghostbird's house. And after we finally covered every single other factions and countries on the Dream SMP server, we can finally move to the final country slash faction on the Dream SMP. The Dream SMP, also known as the Greater Dream SMP, is a shogunate dictatorship with its king, Arid, and its actual leader, Dream, as the leader of the country. Looking at the map, you can see that the Greater Dream SMP claims a lot of land, and that's because everything else outside of the black borders of other countries and factions are part of the Greater Dream SMP. Yup, everything else you see here on the map is part of the Greater Dream SMP. But in the middle of the map, you can see that there is a territory marked with red lines. And this is the Holy Land, which is a holy district within the Greater Dream SMP, where people practice the religion of Church Prime. Or to put in another way, grind primes while streaming on Twitch. The reason it's separate from the rest of the Greater Dream SMP is that it marks the borders where people are safe when within the Holy Land, if they are getting attacked or killed. And that's all countries and factions of the Dream SMP that existed on January 3rd, all covered in one video. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and also leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you like my content. And I also will might do an updated version of this video, since this is already outdated for weeks. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.